Hey everybody, it's George Tromby and this is Japanese from Zero and we are continuing to go through Japanese from Zero book four. And remember, this is the last month you can get the special edition up at shop.fromzero.com. All of our books have this special cream paper edition. Make sure you check it out. But it's okay if you're using the regular edition or whatever version is the version that you're looking at this in the future. We are gonna be going through currently what is called lesson 11. We're gonna be talking about some new verbs. Remember that you can look at all of these lessons at fromzero.com. All of the books have been put into online courses with quizzes and study modes and hiding your foodie gonna hover for this, hover for that. It's a lot of fun. Go check it out. And remember, everything that we talk about in these videos comes direct from these books. Of course, I use new examples uh, and we do teach some extra things in the videos, but the base of what I talk about is in all of these books. So if you're not keen to doing it on the website, definitely pick up a copy of our book today. All right, here we go. First verb is kariru. Kariru. Kariru means to borrow or to rent. Like you can rent a house or a car, or you can borrow money or a book. And it is an iru eru verb, which just means we drop the ru at the end in order to make its verb forms. For example, karimas, I will borrow. Karimashita, I borrowed. And kasu. Kasu means to lend. To lend or to loan somebody. You can loan money. You can lend your book. And this is a regular verb, which means you have to turn the final hiragana into e form and then add your endings. The endings are like mas, mashita, masen deshita, all those type of endings. So if you want to say, I'm going to loan money, it's kashimas. If you're going to say, I loaned money, kashimashita. And of course, there's also the informal forms. All right, so let's look at how kariru and kasu work, and they both use the same particle structure. The person that you are borrowing from or loaning to is marked with ni. It's bi-directional, think about it that way. And the thing that you are loaning or borrowing is marked with the object marker o. So for example, what is this? Tomodachi ni Kasa o karita. Now, it might be weird for you to use ni here. It is for me. I typically don't use ni here. I would say, in this case, tomodachi kara kasa o karita. I'm not a fan. This is just me. I don't like ni being used for from. I'm just not a fan of that. So I use kara, which is completely acceptable. But this means... I borrowed an umbrella from a friend. Tomodachi ni kasa o karita. Or it could be, of course, karimashita. All right. Kare ni kuruma o kashitaku nai. Kare ni kuruma o kashitaku nai. You want to be a little bit snippy? Kare dake ni kuruma o kashitaku nai. To him only, I don't want to loan my car. I don't want to loan my car to that guy alone. Like that guy? Not, you know, kare dake wa dame. Just him is no good. Can't loan him my car. All right. Next verb is kaesu. Kaesu. What do you think it means? We've got borrow and lend. What would be the next logical verb? To return or to pay back. You can return objects. You can pay back money. It's done with kaesu. What kind of verb do you think this is? I want you to think about it logically. Could it be an iru edu verb? course not. Why? Well, number one, it doesn't even end in aru. How do you determine a regular verb in Japanese? If it doesn't end in aru, it's 100% always going to be a regular verb or what the Japanese call a godan verb, a five-step verb, which means you have to take the hiragana at the end, convert it to something, and then put on your endings and whatnot. You do something to it. In iru edu verbs, which must rhyme with the sound iru edu, some sort of rhyming, whether it's kiru or miru or something like that, it doesn't have to be iru or edu. It has to rhyme with iru or edu, or, or it can be iru or edu actually, okay? But those are called ichidan verbs in Japanese. It's a one-step verb, and the one step is what? You drop the ru, and then you add your endings, mas, masen, deshita, etc., etc. Now, we're only... To get to those must and must and deshita things, we're doing e form, but you can do f form to get the potential forms. Kaise must means I can return it. Okay, if f form plus the stem 
makes it potential form. O form plus an U makes it volitional or like the let's do form. Each one of those five steps does something, but the one step verbs or the edu edu verbs, they just attach the ending without doing any modification. They drop the ru and add their modification. That's something to keep in the back of your head. But if a verb doesn't end in a ru, you know it's gonna be a five step or what we call here at Japanese from Zero, a regular verb, okay? So that's what it is. You have to use the E form in doing its normal stems, okay? All right, so you mark the item that you're returning with the object marker O. This should be second nature to you now. If you hear a new verb and you're thinking, uh, what marks the thing that I'm doing the thing with? It's gonna be an O, okay? If something, if something is changing location, you're doing something with the thing, uh, where the verb is somehow affecting the object, it's gonna be the object marker, all right? Karita mono o kaeshimasu. Now, I just think hard about this one, because we've got two verbs in here. What does this mean? Karita mono o kaeshimasu. What are we doing? What's the main verb that we're doing? Karita mono o kaeshimasu. The main thing we're doing is gonna be at the end of the sentence, the verb at the end of the sentence. The thing that we're going to do that thing with, marked by the O. Everything before the O is that object, okay? So what are we doing? We are kaeshimasu, returning. We're returning something. What are we returning? Let's just go backwards from the O. We're returning mono, okay? We're returning a thing. But there's a million things on the planet. Can you be a little bit more like descriptive? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the thing that I borrowed. Karita mono. Remember, Japanese verbs, we learned this a few lessons back, a few videos back. We learned that if you put a verb directly in front of a noun, that verb acts just like an adjective. Or it's like the thing that I, that I did, that. You could put the that there. Now in English, the that doesn't have to be there, but it helps. So I'm going to return the thing that I borrowed or the thing I borrowed, the that is not required. I will return the item I borrowed. Now I purposely removed the that in this sentence. It was in there, but I thought, you know what? I don't want you to always think you have to have the that. You don't have to. Matter of fact, it's considered bad form in English when you're writing to have that in every sentence like that. Like that. <laughs> All right, moving on. Rentaka o kaeshita. Rentaka o kaeshita. This is an easier sentence. We should have had this one first. Like you would have got this one. We don't even need to think about it. I returned the rental car. Easy. Okay. It's a little bit tricky. A little bit poetic. I'll let you think about that for a second. I really need some timing music here. That was you typing and looking up stuff. Okay. Kaisu kotoba ga arimasen means what? What don't we have any of? We don't have something. Kotoba ga arimasen means I have no words. I have no words. What kind of words though? Can we maybe, like there's a million words on this planet. What words? Kaisu kotoba. It's a little bit weird. I have no words to say back to you. I have nothing to say back to you is really what this means. I have no way to reply to that. You just said something to me so ridiculous. George, I haven't studied Japanese in four months and I feel like I've slipped. Of course you've slipped. You didn't study for four months. You didn't do anything with Japanese for four months. You don't have to study per se. I'm gonna introduce to you a way that I've been studying Japanese. What? You're still studying Japanese? Yeah. And I'm learning a lot, and I want you to join me on it. We're going to look at it in a second. Yofukashi suru. Yofukashi. Now, we learned the verb tetsuya in lesson two of book four. Tetsuya means an all-nighter. What does this mean? Yofukashi suru. Similar. It's a kind of a hint. To stay up late. Yofukashi suru. Okay, and it's an irregular verb. What? What's an irregular verb? We could have also called this just a pseudo verb. 
A regular verb is a verb that doesn't follow a pattern. It's it's just it's it's in its own world. I'm, I know this is like remedial for some of you guys, but some of you people didn't study for four months and you have to be reminded. Okay, so pseudo verbs have their own rule, just like kuda. There's only two official irregular verbs in Japanese. It is suru and kuru, okay? Just because they follow their own rules. We could call them pseudo verbs and you could remember the pattern for pseudo because theoretically, there's more pseudo verbs than any other verb type if you think about it that way, okay? But do you notice something? It ends in a ru. Does that mean it could be an iru eru verb? Never, ever, 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 ever. Because it needs to have this Character right here needs to be in the E or the E line of the hiragana row. So it needs to be ki, shi, mi, bi, plus ru, or ke, se, be, something here, okay? Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, let me, let me point out. Just because it ends in an iru eru verb pattern doesn't mean that it's an iru eru verb. It could be what I call an iru eru exception, or which is really just a regular verb that ends in a ru. Because regular verbs can also end in a ru. And that's why that video way back in book two called Why Ru and U Verbs Are a Bad Naming Convention. It's because if you say ru verb, what do you mean? You mean nothing. Every verb type in Japanese ends in ru, can end in ru. And specifically, the only verb type that sometimes doesn't end in ru is the regular verbs. Every other verb type in Japanese must end in a ru. So if you see a ru verb, you can't go, oh, that's not regular. Nope, can't say that because it could be regular. Oh, that's this. You can't say that because it could be any other verb type. And I don't know why they still do it. These books, I won't, they're, they're nameless. You can post them in the comments. For some reason, they all picked up on the ru verb name and the u verb name, and that's a dumb naming convention. Go watch that video. I'll try to link it in the description if I remember, okay? But let me give you a, a hard one. Do you know the verb kosuru? Kosuru? I think it means like to rub. Kosuru? Is that a suru verb? What kind of verb is that? Well, if it's ending in a ru and the previous character is not in E or an E form and it's not a suru verb, it's probably a regular verb. But you're thinking, but it has suru at the end. Ah, coincidence. Pure coincidence. It is not a suru verb. Kosuru. Okay? What does that mean? It means you have to say kosurimasu instead of kosumasu. You can't say kosumasu. You can't say koshimasu. It's kosurimasu. All right. All right. A little bit of that sidetrack. Let's go on. Similar expressions to this are, as I said, book two. Sorry, book four. As I said, Book four, lesson two, tetsuyasuru, to pull an all-nighter. And there's one more, osoku made okiru, just means to be awake late. Okay? All right, moving on. Shumatsu wa yofukashi shimasu. What does that mean? Shumatsu wa yofukashi shimasu. Now, I'm going to say this over and over again. I've said it in so many videos, but I want you to... Put this in your head, my Chinese teacher always told me. Put this in your head. Tape this to your head. And I think she said glue this to your head. In a sentence like this, where there is no pronoun, it doesn't say watashi wa, it doesn't say kanojo wa, kare wa, tomodachi wa, otosan wa. We don't know who is doing it. If it's a statement, it defaults to I. Shumatsu wa yofukashi shimasu. I stay up late on weekends. Or I will stay up late on this weekend, we don't know, because there's no context here. Could be both. <clears throat> now, what if it was a question? Shumatsu wa yofukashi shimasu ka? A question without a known pronoun or topic of discussion, person of discussion, is you. The pronoun is you. So it would be, do you stay up late on weekends? Or will you stay up late on the weekend? We don't know, because there's no prior context. All right, moving on. Tetsuya suru no wa... Yokunai. Tetsuya suru no wa yokunai. You might debate this. I mean, sometimes it's good. Tetsuya suru no wa yokunai. It's not good to put in an all nighter, to stay up all night. Whatever you want to translate that to, Tetsuya means you're not going to go to bed that night. All right? Osoku made okitetano. 
What does that mean? I like how the hard sentence is at the bottom. Now, this is a question, right? What's the pronoun? You. Were you up late? Now, why are we saying okiteta? Because were you being awake all night? It's just were you in a state of being awake all night? Well, we don't translate English like that. We would just say, were you up late? If I said, osokumade okita no, that wouldn't make any sense. That would mean, up until late, did you wake up? It has to be okiteta, to be in a state of being awake. So, okiteta means to be up. Okay? Okiteiru. Okiteru? I can say, okiteru? Are you awake? Mm, okiteru. Yeah, I'm awake. That's how okiru works. If you said, okita no, it would mean, did you wake up? Not, are you awake? Put that in your head. All right. There's a lot of verbs. Sorry, we have to get through them. It's no way around it, guys. Tsukeru. Tsukeru. Means to turn on. Not in the boy-girl sense, turn on. It's like electricity. And it's an iru eru verb, which means we say tsukemas, to turn on. Okay? Kesu. Kesu is the opposite. It's to put out or to turn off. And this can be fire. It can be electric items. It can be just a light. Okay, and kesu is regular, therefore it would be keshimas. Okay, so here we go. Um, the thing that you are turning on or lighting, tsukeru is to light or to turn on, is marked with o. Okay. Denki o tsukemashita. Now this one's a little bit tricky. Denki o tsukemashita. Right away you might think, well, denki means electricity. So I turned on the electricity like I... I got a new house and there was no electricity and I went to the power company and I paid the fee and I turned it on. No. Denki here means light. Denki o tsukemashita. I turned on the light. It, it's, it, it means light. People use it as light like so much. Okay. Rousoku ni hi o tsukeo. What does that mean? Little bit tricky. So the verb that we're doing is hi o tsukeru. Okay. And we're saying, let's do it. Hi scale, informally. Let's light a fire. Where? Rousoku ni. On the candle. Let's light a candle. That's just what it means. Rousoku ni hi scale. Let's, let's put fire on that candle, okay? Let's light a candle. All right? Now the opposite is kesu, to turn off, to... It also means like erase. Like if I want to erase a chalk... Chalkboard, if I had one, or my whiteboard, I would just keshimas. I would race it. Denki o zenbu keshita? Denki o zenbu keshita? Remember, in informal Japanese, like English, it was keshita? Raise it up, keshita? In family speaking, friends speaking, super familiar people, you can speak like this all day long. Denki o zenbu keshita? Did you turn off all the lights? Not electricity, lights. Okay. Rousoku no hi o keso. Probably safe that way. We're getting ready to go on a nine-day trip. How about we let's blow out the candles, right? Let's turn off the candles. Let's remove the fire from the candles. Whatever makes sense to you in your brain, but let's blow out the candle. Kesu, right? He o kesu. We're going to erase the fire from the candle. All right. We're going to do a kind of an interesting quiz that we've never done before. I'm going to give you a sentence. There's two spots for verbs. You need to figure out what goes in each spot. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually streaming right now to our Discord server. I'm going to ask them to answer this quiz, okay? All right, ready? Here's what you're supposed to translate. I will return the books that I borrowed. What are the two verbs that go in here? I will return the books that I borrowed. What goes here first? How do you say the book that I borrowed? Okay, okay. Otter says, Karita hon o. And I don't know. You use the wrong, use the wrong kanji there. Um, you're like changing it. So, Karita hon is correct. It is the book that I borrowed is Karita hon. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Return it? I will return it. What's the verb to return? Everyone's typing. 
Not kasu. Kasu is to loan out. Kaeshimasu. Yes, you nailed it. Kaeshimasu. Kasu is to loan, and kaisu is to return to the person that loaned it. Okay? All right. Don't worry. We got two more quizzes. All right. By the way, you could choose from these verbs up here, okay? All right, here we go. Please turn the TV on because there's a program I want to watch. Give me the, give it in the order. Okay. Otter is on fire with mitai bangumi. That's right. Mitai bangumi. Ga aru kara. Because there is a show I want to watch. Terebi o. And coming in again. Otter slamming it. <laughs> Otter's destroying. Terebi o. Tsukete kudasai. All right. One more. All right. Otter. Otter, I need you to hold back. Otter, you're, you're too strong, okay? <laughs> I know monkey type 100 word per minute, according to you, but please hold back. Let's see if someone else can get this one. You're, you're the star of the class. I need the next student to do it. Okay, ready? Can I borrow 500 yen because I'm short? Or because I'm short, 500 yen, can I borrow? Would be the best order in Japanese that we're talking about. All right, calm down. No otter, no otter. Otter, calm down. And you wrote kawa uso. You mean kawaii so? How sad? Okay, 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 okay. You've got to give it in the right form, ravioli. You cannot just say kariru. And also, I need you to do the first verb first. What goes here? Gohaku, and then here's your examples, okay? But these are these are in their dictionary form. I need you to put them in the proper form. Gohaku en something kara blah 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 mo i desu ka? Mm, nope. If you said 500 yen karitai kara, that means because I want to borrow 500 yen. That makes no sense. Because I want to borrow 500 yen, can you loan me? Is not what he's saying here. How do you say you're short money or there's not enough money? That's your hint. Which one of these means to not have enough, to be short? So what do we got? We got kariru, which means what? Kariru means borrow. Kasu, kasu means to lend, okay. Kaesu means to pay back or to return. Tariru, tariru means to be enough. Tariru means to have enough. Tsukeru means to turn on. Miru means to see. Kesu means to erase or to put out or to turn off. And yofukashisuru means to stay up late. So, which one is it? 500 yen. Eric says tariru. So you want to say 500 yen tariru kara? Is that what you want to say? That would be wrong. If you said 500 yen tariru kara, that would mean because 500 yen is enough. You wouldn't need to borrow money if it tariru. Tariru nara. If there's enough. Tariru nara. Okane wa iranai desho. What verb? Tarinai. Yeah. Otter. No otter. Bad otter. Bad otter. No otter. But but you got it right. You got it. You, you did wait long. You had a lot of patience. I, I I'm gonna give you that. Okay, so goyaku en tarinai kara. How much are you short? Goyaku en. Okay. Goyaku en tarinai kara. Okay. Now otter, calm down. Calm down, otter. Um, can I borrow? How would you say? That? Can I borrow? It doesn't have to be ravioli. Anybody watching? There's like only eight of you, so I'm hoping one of you knows. Oh my god, that water was so good. All right. No one's giving the answer. I'm waiting. It looks like validator is typing. Does he have the answer? We're waiting. We're waiting. You hear him typing in. It's so close. It's not correct, but you're close enough. I'll give it to you. Not. It's not. Can I borrow? Very good. Very, very good, everybody. You all tried, and that's the best thing. Here's the thing. Studies have shown that just trying, even if you're wrong, builds the path. It's like imagine you're in a ship going to the North Pole, and you're crushing through that ice. 
every day you're crushing and you go the wrong direction, but you, you have to pull back and go the other direction. Even when you're wrong, you're building ice paths, right? You're breaking that brain up. So good job. Okay. All right. Good job. Now, we're going to do something now. We're going to look at a real life Twitter post, okay? I have Rikai Kun installed, which means when I hover over, I'm using Edge browser, but you can do this in Chrome. And there's also similar uh, extensions that you can put in Firefox if you're using that or Safari. So we're going to read this and we're going to look at the verbs that are in here. There's a bunch of them that we just learned. I'll turn off Rikai Kun just for a second. So, Sonshi ga okane mochi kara okane o karinai ryu wa. Right? Now, sonshi means like master. Now, here, here's I'll show you how this works. If I turn Rikai Kun on, I can hover. Now, sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes it, it shows you a weird reading, but here's like a master, like a guru, someone who's really smart. Okay, the reason why masters or gurus don't borrow money from the rich, right? Kane mochi, rich people, from okane o karinai, don't borrow. Now, when you hover over these, remember, it shows you the base verb, not the karinai meaning of it, okay? So, karinai ryu. What reason? The reason why they don't borrow. Because they have to return the money. Okay? Now, if you really wanted to translate this, okay, we could just because you have to return it, right? Now I have Deep L installed in here. Now, Deep L is not always that great. There's an amazing moment that happened on my live stream this morning that I'm gonna share with you in just a second, where Deep L just really Lost it for a second. I think it was like crying out for help. I'm not exactly sure. So the reason why masters don't borrow money from rich people is they have to return it. The reason why they borrow from means normal people. Okay. Because they think they don't have to return it. Okay. Then there's people down here. Nice comments. Big sponsor wa okane mochi ya de. So this is a Kansai dialect person saying, you know, the big sponsors are rich though. Talking to whoever posted this, and I don't know who this person is. I don't know who Tycoon is. Okay, and this is a fun comment here. Honto no kane mochi wa sonshi ni okane o kashimasen. Okay, real rich people don't loan money to masters or gurus. Okay, sonshi mo karimasen. The master also does not. Borrow. Because they must return it. So look, we've got kasu and kariru and kaesu all in one tweet response. Okay. Kosho kesso, what is that? Ketsuretsu, my bad. This is what's great about Rikai Kun, though, is you can just check it right away. Kosho ketsuretsu, breakdown of negotiations. I've never heard that before. Hence, I'm being helped right now by Rikai Kun, which is a free extension. All right. So that's pretty good, right? All right. Now, if you like, if look, if you like this type of thing where I'm going through a Japanese tweet or a Japanese story, I'm actually doing it now every single morning at my Polyglot George channel. It's a small stream at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Now, it's possible that when you're watching this video, it's years in the future, and I'm dead because I got hit by that bus in Tiananmen Square. Or I've stopped doing it. But right now, as of today, which is, what is it, November 5th, 2003, I've been doing it every day, and I'm loving it. And I'm going to tell you right now, my comprehension, even my comprehension, is increasing. I'm learning words that I never normally use, and now they're part of my life. My brain is integrating them into my Japanese, and it's increasing my speeding read and everything. But if you want to join me on the journey, every morning, come check out my live broadcast, something like, Surfing Japanese and Korean media because I also do it with Korean media and even though you're not learning Korean Maybe you probably will enjoy it. So what I want to do is show you what you missed in this morning's stream We're just gonna look at it. So here's from this morning's stream. We're in the middle of it All right Roppongi nado ni mirareru 
何して稼いでるのかよくわからない人は何をしてる方々なのでしょうか So these people that I see in Ropangi that are like, what are these guys doing to make money? I have no clue.、Uh, what are they doing? What are these people doing to make money? So this is on Quora. So what I've been doing in the morning is going to like the first thing I see in Quora that looks like it's from a Japanese person and reading it. And this was a fascinating discussion of these people in Ropongi, Japan, which is like the rich area. And it's people. Are responding to this question. It is fascinating. I think you should see it. And I'm using Rikai Kun and I'm using DeepL and I'm using Google Translate.、Uh, I'm first doing it myself, translating what I think it is, then I'm checking myself and I'm building those neural pathways for myself. And I'm telling you, even someone at my level, I'm seriously benefiting from this because it's something I've never done in the past. Okay. Now, here's what happened. You're going to love this in my Korean one. I don't know another way to say this. Okay, it's going to sound a little bit bad, but I believe right here,、um, either Deep L is having a crisis or it shit the brick. I don't know what happened here. Watch this. Tanahana nun chincha narang an olim. Okay. <clears throat> Being elegant really doesn't suit me. So watch, I'm going to translate it first. Sawon chok. Sawon chok gida. I'm for, I, the first, I've heard this. It, I think it's a way to say I'm strange. Sawon chok. I'm, Sawon is the fourth dimension. Sawon c h o k i da. Dorai da. I'm dry. Dorai. I don't know if that means dry. Ranun maru. Ge mani i t u k o I hear that I'm fourth dimension and dry. Kyobok man. Kyobok. Is that like a robe? I just wear, I go, I go places just wearing a robe. I don't know what robe is. I'm guessing that's robe. Now, watch this. Watch what happens. Okay. Dude, today is my best day ever. It's not really me. It's not really me. It's not really me. I'm not really me. I'm not really me. I'm not really me. There's no fucking way that D Bell's deep at all. <laughs> How is this deep? It's not really me. I'm 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 not really me. That's your translation of being elegant doesn't match me. I'm fourth dimension. I'm dry.、Uh, I hear these things a lot about myself. I only wear a robe in gold places. What are you talking about? Are you high, Deep L? All right, Google's going to come to the safe. Come to save us. Dananahana doesn't suit me. Well, that maybe she messed up somewhere, but humans don't, humans can see past that mistake. Being elegant, it's probably h a d a n u n I'm guessing. Hanun got there. Hanun got chincha narang an orim. I've heard a lot of people say that it's fourth dimensional and it's a fool. So, Torai must mean fool. Anyway, Dora, Ida, anyway it's, you can see the fun that we have. It's about an hour and a half every morning, sometimes two hours. It, it's a lot of fun. I really would love you to come join me.、Uh, that is the end of today. Remember, fromzero.com, check it out. It is the biggest project we're doing here at the company outside of books,、uh, but it's actually even bigger than that because more people are doing it at once. Check it out. We have study modes, we have quizzes, we have all sorts of fun things. And You know what? Even if you don't join from zero, you can check out the books. And even if you don't have the books, you can at least subscribe to this YouTube. Hit the like button. Make a comment. Please, please, please. I, I get so low interaction on these videos for all the work I put into them. I really wish we had more interaction. So I guess the only thing I have to do is ask. Please do that. And you know what?、Uh, I don't care too much about the Polyglot George channel, it's just my fun channel. But hey, every morning, if you want to have something on in the background,、uh, please add me to your list of things to watch. And they're in the live tab. Not in the normal tab. So make sure you click the live tab if you want to watch the previous ones. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next Japanese from Zero. Bye bye.